Verse 39 of Surah Al-Hijj talks about the conversation that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala had with Shaytan at the beginning of the creation of the human being. This is a conversation that is referenced many times in the verses of the Quran. And in this particular surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala points out what shaitan responded to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him that he would be given time to live until the day of judgment and to do as he wishes. So the Quran says, verse 39 from Surah Al Hijj, Qala Rabbi bima aghwaytani, O oh Allah, because you misguided me, la uzayyinanna lahum, I will try to take the bad deeds of other people and make it look good for them. And I will try to misguide all of them. What you find in these verses of the Quran is very interesting is that after Shaytan disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and didn't prostrate to Adam, he didn't sit back and ever take responsibility and accountability for his mistake. So we think about Shaytan as someone who's extremely evil. This is how it all started. He didn't bow down to Adam, right? he didn't do the sajda to Adam. But then afterwards, uh, Shaitan also didn't take responsibility for his sins. He ended up actually putting it on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, oh Allah, you misguided me. So because you misguided me, now I'm going to come back and misguide your servants. And essentially what the verses of the Quran are telling us is that what made Shaitan who he is, was not just that he had one lapse uh, of judgment, or for example, he had one sin. It was that he did this one sin, and then he didn't take accountability for it. And he decided to continue on this path forever. So this is a very clear sign and a big lesson for you and I. We all make mistakes. There's no doubt about that. We all have shortcomings. The thing that differentiates someone from making mistakes and between that and becoming like shaitan is whether you take accountability for your mistakes afterwards or not. There are people who have shortcomings and when they have that shortcoming, then they come back. They say, Ya Allah, I made a mistake. I am responsible for that mistake, right? And then there are people like shaitan. He puts it on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbi bima aghwaytani. Yes, because you were the one who uh, essentially misguided me. Now I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. So Shaytan still has that opportunity. He has to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, technically speaking. But he doesn't take that accountability and he doesn't hold himself responsible. So this is very, very important. This is why Imam Ali says, when you sit down to hold your ego and your nafs responsible, your soul responsible for its doings, do it the way a business partner holds his own business partner accountable in terms of the profit that was made in the business, right? So don't sugarcoat things for yourself. If you made a mistake, hold yourself accountable, take responsibility for it. And of course, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always be there.